In this video, you're going to learn about the resource browser. You can think of the resource browser as a little bit like your bedroom closet. Some people will keep it nice and organized and others it could become a complete mess. Anyway, if you do not see your resource browser, what you do is you go under the view menu and you drag down to browsers. Um, remember there are seven browsers. The resource browser is just one of them. If uh, to get to the actual resource browser, you click on the second icon from the left. So that is the one that I'm pointing to right here. And then there's really two parts to the resource browser. There's the shared resources and there's my resources. If you click on shared resources, what you should see is you should see a lot of things that were pre-installed with Inspire that were given to you by um, by Promethean. So for instance, I could just whip down here and take a look at activities and templates, and then I'm going to go into an activities, and I'm going to find alphabet activities, and I could drag and drop this little alphabet out. That's just a resource from, um, from Promethean. Very cool for early elementary. If you click on my resources, that is a collection of folders on your computer as well. And this is something that will be changing over time as you add things to your resource library. And I'm gonna kind of show you how it is that you add things to that in the, follow, the next video. But before I do that, I wanna talk about resource library organization. Um, when you're in the resource library and if you click on any folder, to the right of that folder, you will see a little icon, looks like a piece of paper. If you click on that, you have some options. Um, one of which is to create a new folder, and I'm, I'm gonna leave the other things alone for now, but create a new folder is important. So here I click on language arts, and I have some other options to rename the folder. I could delete that folder. I could create a new folder that's a subfolder of language arts. Um, that's all really important because um, you want to keep this thing organized. So for instance, if I go into my assessments and I click on it, nothing appears down here, which means it's empty. I don't need it there. So I could literally click here and say, delete folder. And then I confirm, okay. And that folder is no longer there. Now, the other thing you might want to do is you might want to rename a folder. So for instance, let's say I didn't want that to be called my flip charts pages anymore. I just wanted it to be flip chart pages, or maybe I want to call it templates. I could click here and go down to rename folder and I could change the name so that I call it templates. And then maybe that just makes more sense to me. So I'm going to click okay. And if I now scroll down somewhere down there under the T's, I have a templates folder instead of it being called my flip chart pages. So um, lastly, you might want to make a subfolder. So if, for instance, I go to my sounds, maybe I want to have in there um, two subfolders, one for music and one for um, sound clips like um, gunshots and clapping and things like that. Well, right now I don't have anything in the my sounds folder, but I could have a new folder. I could say create new folder and I'm gonna say music and click OK. So if I go back down to my sounds now and click on this triangle, I have a subfolder called music. That should help you to organize your resource browser.